Yeah. Hello, Rolf Schomberger with Wiredam.cc, and I'm here with my good friend and great winemaker, Nick Goldschmidt. We're fortunate enough to have Nick uh, come in town to visit with us here and uh, have a dinner at the Opus Bistro here in Clear Lake Shores. Uh, the chefs at Opus have prepared a fantastic uh, five-course meal that we're going to have tonight, paired with some of Nick's wines. A uh, little history on Nick. Nick is... Uh, He's been making wine for a bunch of big companies, Allied Domex specifically, Bean Brands, and now Nick is uh, making wines on his own and doing a fantastic job. Nick, thanks for coming. Today. No, thanks, Rolf. Thanks for having me come by, and I love coming to Opus, as I was here last year as well. Yes, we had a great time uh, last year for the dinner, and we have a full house tonight. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the wines we're going to be serving and what we're going to be doing, uh, you know, what we're going to be pairing them with. First of all, Nick makes an incredible uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. We're going to start out with uh, a strawberry salad, which should be uh, a winner. You think that'll work? Yeah, it should work. I mean, the, uh, where we are in Marlborough, Rolf, is uh, we're on the Brancot, so it's a glacial soil, so this wine's going to be real grapefruity and real citrus, very easy to drink. Most importantly, very easy to drink a second glass, which is what we're all interested in. Very good. We like second glasses <laughs> for sure. Um, next, we're going to do the Boulder Bank uh, Pinot Noir with Salmon Au Pois. That should be a real hit. Salmon is one of my favorites. Yeah, and Pinot, this has a fairly uh, high pH, so it's very creamy, very lush. And we don't use a lot of wood on this wine roll, so it's very fruit forward and very easy. It'd be a perfect match. Third, we're going to do uh, Nick makes wine with, uh, with his daughters. This particular one is the Chelsea Merlot, and this should work out perfectly with Hoisan Duck. What do you think, Nick? Well, I'm glad that Chelsea's not here. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> message. But yeah, Rolf, I have, I have five kids, and I make a wine with uh, each of my daughters. I've got three daughters, and Chelsea's my oldest daughter. She's at UC Santa Barbara. And the Merlot that we've been making, uh, we've been doing this since uh, 06, and this is the vineyard I actually live on out in Sonoma County. So it's a great wine. It's got a little bit more flesh and weight than you'll typically find in a Merlot, and certainly not as spicy as you'd find on many Merlots. But yeah, just a bit fuller and richer. That's good. That's one of my favorite Merlots. I know that uh, good Merlots have been hard to find over the past few years, and this one certainly is uh, one of my favorites. The next wine is the Forefathers uh, Alexander Valley Cab, and Nick wrote the book on making wine in Alexander Valley. There's there's nobody that uh, that does a better job. I've been uh, drinking a lot for 25 years in the wine business, and and this is absolutely one of my favorites. So hard to pick my favorite. It's like picking your favorite child, but uh, this Forefathers is awesome. And we're going to have that with filet mignon, uh, King Henry the Eighth. King Henry the Eighth wasn't he there. one of those naughty boys? I think he was. Yeah. Well, uh, this, this is a very limited wine that we do, Rolf. We only do about 500 cases of this. This vineyard is on an east-facing slope, which is very rare in the Alexander Valley. Most of the slopes, that the vineyards are planted on a west-facing, which means you get the afternoon heat. But on an east-facing slope, you just get the morning sun. So we're able to pick with slightly lower alcohol, with a lot more fullness and fleshiness, but at the same time have real supple tannins. And this is a great wine. Very good. And last but certainly not least is the Big Daddy. This is the Oakville Goldschmidt Vineyards Cabernet. This is uh, the 07 vintage. We're going to be some of the first people in the country to try this tonight at Opus. Uh, it's a new release for Nick and uh, we're going to have that with some chocolate Napoleon. Nick, fill us in a little bit about the, uh, the Oakville. Well, as with the forefathers, we, we were in very popular land. For instance, with the Forefathers Cabernet being east-facing, our neighbors are Silver Oak and Jordan, Simi and Milestone. But on the Oakville Cabernet, if you, if you know the Silverado Trail very well, you venture north on that trail past the Yonville Crossroad. But before you get to the Oakville Crossroad, there's this little section of rocky soil uh, where this vineyard is. And our neighbors here are Beckstoffer, Screaming Eagle, Nickel and Nickel, and Tim Mondavi's making Continuum. But this wine is very free, uh, the, the soil is very free draining, and because of that you get a lot of ripeness at, at lower sugar, and this really makes, not only do you get the fullness and the power that you get from Oakville, but you also get a lot of the elegance and ripeness that you would typically get from the Alexander Valley. Wow, that's great, and this, is, uh, this wine is fantastic as well. We're going we're gonna to enjoy all these wines tonight with uh, about 60 of our uh, closest friends. <laughs> and. Uh, if you feel, feel a need to go try these, which I strongly advise you do, these wines are available at, at my house. And at Nick's house. You can go to <laughs> Nick's house. They're much cheaper at Nick's house. Uh, you just have to be sure it's cars in the driveway. So, but specs, yeah. yeah we can get, we specs get them at here, specs. It, most specs in Houston, if they don't have them in stock readily, which most of them do, they can certainly order them for you. So thanks again, Nick. We're yeah. looking forward to the Thanks, Rolf. Thanks for having me over. Thanks. Cheers. We're at Oak.
Memphis Bistro. What a wonderful evening. A sold out evening. A sold out evening. Absolutely. With, with good reason, the food and the wine pairing was excellent. Absolutely. The food and the wine. Uh, and Nick Goldschmidt was here. Very entertaining and very enlightening. He was. And, uh, it was really funny. He's very, very much got a lot of uh, character, a lot of comedy. Yeah, a lot of sheep <laughs> jokes, that's for sure. A lot of sheep jokes, but what a wonderful evening. Yeah. So y'all stay tuned. We've got a lot more coming up. Check out the photos in the video and uh, keep your eye out for uh, a lot more wine tasting dinners and also a lot more wine events. Absolutely. We'll see you around.